sip your morning cup of joe, you might want to throw confetti or maybe have an extra cup because today is National Coffee Day. Where Sherman, he is live downtown where coffee is more than just a drink, it's a passion. Good morning. It is. Hey, good morning, guys. I don't know about you, I love coffee. It is my thing in the morning. This place right here, one of my favorite places whenever I'm downtown, it's Caffeine Coffee. It's a uh, Fulton Street, right off Mass Ave. I think, it, let's see, we were here when it first opened and we were going over like, when was that? I think four or five years ago. But I'm telling you, the reason it's, we're here because this place is all about the coffee. And this guy, as I said before the break, hey, Tyler Niehaus. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Tyler you? is like the scientist of coffee. And here's the deal, what we love about this place. It is all about the roots of coffee here at uh, Caffeine Coffee. This is an example of some of the coffee beans. There it is right there. You get these from like all around the world, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, this is sourced by, uh, we have a partnership with Java Vino out of Atlanta, Georgia. But all of our coffees are from all over the world. Uh, we have anything from India, which is the monsoon Malabar region, to our darker Kenya, which is obviously in Africa. All around the world. All see? around the world. So here's what I love about this place, is that it's so cool and it's so like, so coffee shop s like the, what you think of when you come to a coffee shop and their specialties sometimes they do these beautiful lattes absolutely uh, that you did this is what the spanish this is the spanish latte absolutely yep now one of my favorites is actually your vietnamese coffee yes, uh, yes. but the spanish what's in the spanish latte so the spanish latte very simply is just uh traditionally sweetened condensed milk espresso and steamed milk uh, we add a little oh, cinnamon boy. to it also, yeah, just do. to balance it off. It's a bit. amazing. Give me a little background about you. You are a coffee, coffee, coffee. Can I call you a coffee nerd? Sure. Uh, <laughs> that is no problem at all. I will yeah. take that. What, what is it about coffee? Because this guy gets really excited about coffee. <laughs> what is it? I'm going to be honest. I really think it has a lot to do with the community behind coffee in itself. Yeah. When I came here, I didn't know too many people when I moved to Indianapolis. And since then, all of my friends, everyone is all community based and it has to do with coffee. Well, and he has so. studied coffee. Look at all. All the, this is like I said. This is like a little science um, class, a little chemistry class. Yes, okay, yes. show me this thing. First of all, we got a lot of toys. Yeah, show. absolutely. What is this? This is a sifter or a sieve. So uh, what I did is I put an appropriate amount of coffee in there. Mm -hmm. I uh, just shake it back and forth, and then I decide the good stuff that's left over, and that's what I would use to actually brew with because that is consistently. And nice. Then, and so that was the good stuff, and then yeah, that's, that's the bad, the bad stuff? stuff also. Yep, I would throw that out, throw this out, keep that. So now you sift it through, and yep. that's what you. That is what I would so use. So what's the reason behind that? It just makes that's what you. So what these makes it good or bad. Um, when you grind coffee, if if the grinder is not just perfect and absolutely, and that is extremely hard to do, okay. then these will not be the same shape. You right. want everything to be the same shape, same temperature. See what makes I'm it all about? perfect. All right, what is this? This is the, the, so explain third wave. The, Caffeine yeah. coffee is all about third wave, third wave coffee. In a Absolutely. nutshell, that means what? How I've interpreted it or how I've been told is that when it goes from first, second, third wave, then you want to um, describe it more so as in the fact that we care more and more as we go. So for instance, this is called a, a V60 um, pour over. And this has been done for a while, but I would say that more recently have we decided that we can more efficiently decide exactly the right amount of coffee, the right temperature, everything. Whenever you do a drip method at home, you're not getting all of these other variables. That, but that's uh, what this is. Yeah, I'm controlling every variable at this point. I'm measuring, I'm making sure everything is perfect from the time it starts, from the time it ends. Tyler, see, the alchemist <laughs> of coffee. We've got more of these. They've got a special today for uh, National Coffee Day. Is it the pumpkin latte, Moroccan? It's actually a Moroccan latte. Moroccan latte. We're going to get that um, later this morning, so stand by.